Hey, what's up everyone? We're going to the Amazon bins and it is fill a bag day. Normally Wednesday here um, is dollar day, which is every item in there is a buck. But today they've already announced it on Facebook that today is fill a bag day. So everything you can put in your Ikea blue bag for 25 bucks. Uh, we're going to go looking for a couple different things. We're going to look for one resale items. Um, if we can find a bunch of one thing and make one listing and have like 10 or 20 of them, that's great. Uh, but the other thing I'm looking for is I do some shopping for a uh, Christmas village for our school, which every year uh, we set up a big store for them to come in and buy cheap gifts for family. And so I shop all year round for that. Uh, so yeah, if I can find a bunch of stuff at a good price, which is basically so cheap, you can't pass it up. Um, this is a great way to get good items for those kids to buy for grandparents, parents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, anything. So let's go see what we can find. Here we are going up. It's dollar day, fill a bag day. Not a ton of people in line. We're going to see what we can find. Like I said earlier in the intro, we're going to be looking for stuff for reselling and then also stuff for the Christmas Village. You guys can see not a lot of people in line on Dollar Day, but we'll see how cleared out it was from yesterday. Yeah. I know these people aren't just walking up. There's a line, people. <laughs> That's still the thing that kills me is people cutting in line. Like every week, there's still people cutting in line. I'm like, there's still good stuff every week. Every week, there's good stuff. <laughs> All right, well, the table's still looking. Kind of full. All right. Let's see what we can find. This is dangerous right now. You know that, right? <laughs> so this is where the, this is the first instance in this video where the music is just insanely loud. Um, so I'm going to narrate over a little bit and get back you to the regular, you know, ASMR reseller type sounds but one of the first things I see here is these uh these beard lotion kits these are really good items for the Christmas store um, one of the main items that we lack every year are really good gifts for guys um, it's hard to find guys gifts on the cheap um, if you go and try and buy tools and things like that they're always over five dollars and that's our maximum amount for anything in our store um, is five dollars so when kids bring 20 bucks in you know they hope to buy 10 gifts enough gifts for parents brothers sisters aunts uncles whoever it is that's close in their life they want to be able to buy as many things as they can so we limit everything in there so the most expensive thing in our christmas store is five bucks um, and these things because i'm getting them so cheap um, i'm probably going to mark them at a maybe two bucks uh, for our Christmas store uh, but yeah these are awesome gifts for guys we got a lot of guys around uh, the school a lot of parents and grandparents that have beards so this is a perfect gift for a lot of them uh, this thing that I'm grabbing a bunch of are um, some baby uh, pacifiers um, I think I grabbed maybe 10 to 12 of those um, I'm gonna lock them up in uh, I think sets of two and you guys will see at the end how much I'm listing them for, but another good item for reselling. So first two things, you know, we're finding an item for the Christmas store, and then we're finding an item for uh, uh, resale. So that's, uh, that's good stuff. Well, we had a couple seconds of normal audio of me just rummaging through these Amazon liquidation bins but unfortunately narration has to come back um, 
I uploaded the video to YouTube and it got flagged for copyright issues so I'm having to go back again and try to locate where the audio is having issues and the music is definitely still loud in this clip um, I was hoping to avoid it with uh, just the background noise reducer that's a part of uh, iMovie um, and I know that veteran video people will be like you're still using iMovie like is that a thing um, I am I have a Mac and iMovie is super easy to use and it is just a uh, it's just good enough for me as I'm still starting out with YouTube and still getting my feet wet with it uh, but so yeah you guys are gonna have to listen to me talk for like I can't remember how long this clip is like 10 minutes or something um, but as you guys can see from me just rummaging through all of these tables trying to find things that I can find multiples of and one of the things I find a lot of in this video is those uh, brand new Olivia Rodrigo sour CDs uh, believe it or not people still want CDs and still listen to CDs um, just like cassettes are making a comeback right now eventually CDs are gonna make a huge comeback and people are gonna want them again uh, especially those uh, 90s kids 2000 early 2000s 2000s kids uh, they'll want to start collecting those uh, Blink 182 CDs and Green Day CDs you better believe it um, so yeah these Olivia Rodrigo CDs I'm gonna lot them or I won't lot them up but I'll sell them uh, on eBay probably for 10 bucks a piece in free shipping media mail and hope to make four or five dollars on each one so not bad this little tin can says sun's out um, knew, no idea what it was but I had to read it um, and since it's $25 fill a bag day I just grabbed it ends up being uh, a bunch of uh, hair ties so we can always if you have daughters you can always use hair ties We're always losing them finding them everywhere dropping them in cars they get thrown away later so anytime you can find a uh, hair ties that's always a good thing and these uh Barbie Jurassic Park outfit packs um, these are gonna be really good for the Christmas store um, kids still play with Barbies so these are my great gifts for a dollar a piece dollar fifty a piece or whatever I put on them in the Christmas store for people's sisters um, or cousins you know if they buy presents for their cousins sisters whatever um, yeah make a good Christmas gift for next year and I do pass up on all these uh, little hand towels I probably should have grabbed some of those this would make a decent gift for moms or grandmas from little kids um, yeah I probably should have picked those up ooh Claritin uh, there are a lot of random medications at the Amazon liquidation bins they do a lot of store closeout uh, a lot of dollar general closeout type stuff um, so you'll find shelf pulls of expired medicines uh, some not expired medicines um, I you know if it's stuff that we use I usually grab it and uh, you're getting it at you know the best price on dollar day so or $25 fill a bag day like this one um, I'm grabbing all these little uh, blippy you know surprise bag toys um, I'm getting as many of them as I can because I know for a fact they will make good Christmas gifts next year people like blippy I've never seen it uh, but yeah people people say it's fun not as good as bluey I guess bluey is supposed to be amazing have you guys ever watched bluey I've never watched it but I don't have little kids anymore uh, but even adults say bluey is really good <laughs> maybe I should watch it um, so yeah we're just trying to get through this uh, long stretch of uh, music blaring in the background um, you know if you guys have any questions about how Amazon liquidation bins or similar places how they operate you know feel free to leave a comment I will definitely reply um, one of the questions I always get is you know how can I figure out if I have one of these and there is a website um, and I even put it in a short video one of my short videos on how to locate those uh, those bin stores um, you just gotta go to the website link I'm gonna try to leave pop it up right now 
and hopefully I remembered to go back and edit this and pop it up there. But yeah, hopefully that video, that short video will help you guys uh, find it in your state. Um, generally, you can find one. Uh, they're more prevalent on the East Coast and South. Um, but we, you know, like we have two here in Indiana that I know of from this bargain lane company. And supposedly they're wanting to open up another one down in Indianapolis. So soon in this area there will be three of these. Um, and I know that they exist in Cincinnati. And I believe there's one in Toledo and Cleveland. Um, there are similar places in Michigan. So in Chicago, I know that there are these places. So they're kind of all over the place. You got to find them, and they're all named something a little different. Um, they don't call themselves bin stores. They just call them whatever. So hopefully, we're gonna get back into some regular sound from the sale. Uh, so we'll see. I'll probably pop back in at some point. What are you trying to grab? Oh, these Whatever. little wicked hey, things? Look, man. For 25 bucks, I can sell a lot of this shit. No, I'm doing the same thing. I'm looking for toys and for I mean, reselling. Really, I, don't, I came probably, mostly for toys today. I probably but, got 200 items in here. You know what I mean? Oh, I feel you. This is good stuff for a bunch of different things. Well, even the Play Dohs. It's like you bundle them up, dude. Whatever you can fit in a flat rate envelope. I don't know. The Play-Doh scares me, though. Why? Just because how old, I don't know how old they are. These are probably good right now, though. Well, they're Christmas, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> These damn mini brands, dude, are crazy. Yeah, those I things. I got a shit ton of them. Those things are nuts. I don't know which one is good to say. <laughs> How's it going? Good. Another shower seat. section of loud music going on right now I don't think I'm pretty far away from where the speaker is but I think it's the the rock and roll type music and it is coming through really clear on this speaker and I've already clicked on reduce noise and it is still coming through really good oh I grabbed that little pack of chalk uh, for my dad he's got a dartboard in his basement and we were there for a party over New Year's and he had no chalk to keep track of the scores. So here we go. Now I got him some chalk. 
we're all we're always winning uh, at the Amazon liquidation bins. Uh, I'm grabbing these poppet things. Kids still enjoy those poppets. I know for a buck a piece, they're gonna fly off the shelves next year at the Christmas store. Um, this is a little Paw Patrol Matchbox car. Uh, I think I only found one of those the entire day, but it was still brand new in the package. Somebody's gonna like it for their little brother. Um, yeah, but just just still digging. Look at that, more poppets. And I'm trying to grab as many of single individual items as I can, um, whether it's for the Christmas store or for reselling. You definitely want to lock these things up so you can do one listing, especially on eBay for a multi listing. Um, those are great bread and butter type of things where you ship out, you know, maybe one a week, a couple times a week for that same thing. Um, yeah, I definitely want to find more of those kinds of things this year. Uh, might be looking into like wholesale and stuff like that, but definitely want to find more big bulk items, things that sell regularly. Um, yeah, just digging, going through a lot of trash. There, there's so much trash here. Found an Encanto CD soundtrack. Nice. It goes for like, I believe it goes for like twelve ninety five free shipping on eBay. So it's not bad. I wish I would have found a lot more. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only one, only Encanto CD I found. But again, when you're digging through here and you're on the last day, like this, like this day is. Um, you guys encounter a lot of trash inside these tables and it just is what it is it's a product of the system um, throughout the week you know people are just opening things unpackaging things leaving all the trash on the tables and it is what it is but let's get back to some regular sounds of me digging through everything and i know that's what you want Can I get another bag too? Thank you. All right, you too. I'll be back. Well, we've got our first load going out to the car and I bought an extra bag just in case because I think I'm going to go back in, see what else I can find. I found a good mix of stuff for reselling and for uh, the Christmas store for the school. So I'm excited about that. As you can see, my trunk is still full. But yeah, some really good stuff. Really good stuff in that first load. I'm excited about that. You can't get you can't beat getting this for Christmas for the Christmas store for under a buck. Some really good stuff here. Toys. Yeah, we're going back in. Yeah, $25 fill a bag is an awesome, awesome time. I think I've maybe picked up 20 Olivia Rodrigo CDs, brand new. You know, they're not a ton of money, but when you can make one listing for 20 items and you're gonna make, let's say we make five bucks on each one. You know, we got 20, so there's an easy 100 off of one listing and I paid less than a, less than a dollar a piece probably paying like a quarter a piece actually. For those of you guys that don't know, Bargain Lane also has a retail side similar to like a Big Lots. That's half their business and then the other half is through the door. So I kind of went farther down this. I'm going to Go down this first round this time. You know, these binders. 
I just need a couple miners for an idea I have for uh, selling 3DS games at shows. So many binders. Binders. Nicorette. Mini lozenge? If I can find a bunch of these. Yeah, they're expired. Sweaters, kid stuff, good prices. Yeah, just a, a regular, regular crop top hoodies. Daughter don't need no crop top hoodie. But this is a cute little sweater. What size is that? Two T, too small. Wanted the storm, those would be good. Oh, I should Wings Hardware. That's got to be from a movie, right?
shirt. Man, that is cool. Christmas crew. Sir. stuff you gotta watch out for guys pretty sure that might be uh, mouse poop right there <laughs> yep definitely gross but you never know how long these pallets have been sitting and what is in those pallets definitely keep your eye out
Anthony Dillon? Yep. Yeah. Next year for grandkids. Okay, there you go. You need another one? Sure. <laughs> I mean, they're they're a quarter, if that. You might as well fill up the bag. Expired? No, still good. Oh, you got. Excellent. Let me just start filling this bag up. Running out of things to grab. No, you got it. Push it down. <laughs> it's all coming out. 
Because when you sit it down, I should have put those. Well, I, know I couldn't find no bungee cord. Gotcha. Yeah, I haven't seen one in here either. It'd be nice to find one. Yeah. So I'm trying to figure out a way to help this lady contain her stuff a little bit better. And she said bungee cord. It would be nice to find a bungee cord, but we don't have that. So I pick up this pink bathing suit and I'm like, mm, this has got some good stretch to it. Maybe this would work, but then I get this idea incoming i see another piece just near that pink one it is that neon green bathing suit and it's a little bit more stringy and still stretchable i think this could work and i try to talk to her about it and we, say, get, you got, we get things going you got it yeah okay thank you so much i'll say if you grab that handle on the other side this one on the yeah. other side we could wrap it and attach it to this top Okay, let me pick this up. Maybe. If we, Thank you so much. If we can see it. There you go. We'll try this, see if it works. That way we'll get it off the ground. I knew it was going to be a problem. <laughs> Uh, let's try that. <laughs> that helped. That might keep it up a little bit. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm going to double knot it though. And then you can just cut this later. <laughs> yeah. All right. I appreciate that. No problem. Just bags are good. People just leaving their bags around. They're going to get them taken. Somebody's going to come up and snatch a whole bag. You can't just leave a whole bag of goodies lying around. I might just grab some more of these. Fill it up with some more of these. These are just good gifts. I think we're getting close to being done now. This 2022 graduation gifts would have been nice. What's this? So I had to come in and do some uh, narration again because I'm really close to the source of music. And um, basically I'm finding my last thing or last thing in the tables section of the uh, fill -a bag day. And these are little kitty toys, little kitty cat toys. And these are going to be great for the Christmas store. Um, kids like to buy presents for their pets, their dogs, their cats. Uh, so I'm just grabbing any of the ones that look clean enough to take. A um, bunch of these were stained or had some dirt marks on them. We definitely don't want those. So just shaking off uh, as many of them as I can get. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. So our Christmas store is typically open three days, um, three three days in one given week before Christmas. So you know they got grades one through six coming through there, um, and kindergartners, kindergartners as well. So they're buying a lot of things. So each day we want to have 
essentially the same products going out there for different classes. So we need enough of them to stock up for each day. Um, yeah, so I'm still shaking them off, trying to get them clean. At least the second bag here is, you know, basically full. And we're going to start heading toward the exit there. Um, in a little bit, I think the music's uh, going to get a little bit lower. And I can go back to uh, just letting you guys listen to the sounds of the sale. Um, I know I go back and forth between what I prefer when I'm watching videos. So, you know, a good mix of uh, some narration and some you know, reseller ASMR um, is fine, but I think overall I prefer just uh, the natural sounds of the sale. Me talking or interacting with people or, you know, other YouTubers just uh, going about their day. Um, whatever it is, yard sales, garage sales, thrifting. Um, yeah, but some people do it really well in terms of uh, narration, like uh, what's the... What's the Froggy Flips? He does a really good job of narrating, I think. Um, he just does really good stuff. Um, who's another one that does really well on the narrating? Um, is it Flipping Junk? Um, gosh, I can't remember. Yeah, there's so many good YouTubers out there. Um, make sure you guys subscribe to a bunch of them, you know, and support them and at least subscribe and check them out there's so many different ones so many good sellers out there um, just a lot of knowledge to get to that's just free for us um, I know I watched tons of it before I got really heavy into eBay I was just watching tons and tons of shows on YouTube trying to build my knowledge base in terms of uh, things that I could buy to resell um, oh as I'm walking out towards the cash register I noticed these uh, they're boxes of fake succulent plants and each one has four of these little mini succulents and so I'm gonna grab a couple of these boxes I think they'll be good for the Christmas store as well um, I know we personally like the fake succulents or the real succulents either one but the fake ones are nice because they don't die and we aren't the best with plants so yeah, these are, these are nice little gifts. A kid can give this gift to their mom or grandma or whoever. Um, and it's going to be great. Um, I think I grabbed, yeah, I think I grabbed two boxes. My bag is pretty full, though. So that's about all I can take in terms of uh, succulent boxes. But yeah, let's go back to the sounds and uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get going. Outside. Yeah, outside, inside, yeah. in your kitchen. Could go anywhere. Bathroom. You want one? Yeah. There you go. Get a good look at all the stuff that's going on next Saturday, though. Mm. Don't really see anything stands out from here, but there's always stuff in there. Of this because it is gross out there, guys. Definitely wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. None of my friends in here today, though. Not a lot of, not a, not a lot of resellers that I know. So, still a good dollar day. Two big bags full of stuff. Bag number two done. Let's go to the car. We'll go home and see what we got. I'll divide up what's reselling and what's uh, for Christmas. The Christmas store, Christmas Village store. And we'll go from there. Okay. Here's everything we got from the sales today. I'm going to spread it out, divide it up, and see what we end up with in terms of reselling 
and Christmas Village. Here we go. Next thing you see, it'll all be spread out, I swear. Guys, we are back at home, and this is everything we got from the bins on fill -a bag day. Starting with a pile of just for personal stuff. We've got some binders, some you know, uh, table linens, some shirts, some razors, and a bunch of meds. Uh, just good stuff uh, that we can use. Those meds are not uh, expired, so that's awesome. Uh, some things for the Christmas Village. A bunch of toys, a bunch of beard oils. These things, you know, for the guys. Uh, I have a beard if you guys watch the channel. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate the one that I got actually this year. Some poppets, some rest, wrist uh, rest things, and some other toys, knickknacks, Barbie clothes, Jurassic Park stuff. These are like packs of uh, packs of succulents, fake succulents. And this is everything we got for resale. Um, these little baby things probably sell for two for twenty dollars, free shipping. A stack of twenty six brand new Olivia Rodrigo uh, CDs. So that's awesome. Paid fifty dollars for all this stuff. Definitely making money, definitely giving some awesome stuff to the school for their Christmas village. So amazing things.